Today I'll be talking about trigonometry, which is a branch of mathematics relating to the, uh, to the sides and angles of a triangle. In physics, we usually use right angles um, more often than others in order to determine vector components and characteristics. Here we have a right triangle, and you can depict this using a small square shape at the bottom, show that this is 90 degrees. Here, let's label these uh, sides A, B, and C, and let's use this angle, theta, for our measurements. Now, we have three tools at our disposal for figuring out the lengths of these sides, or the ratios between them. We have sine, cosine, and tangent. These three tools um, are ratios between certain sides and depend only on the angle you are using and not the overall um, area of the triangle or, or length of its sides. So first we have sine. And sine of theta is the value or the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse is always the longest side and it's the side that does not uh, have any connection to the 90 degree angle. So here we have opposite over hypotenuse, and this, in our triangle at least, equals B over C. Now if we look at cosine of this same angle, theta, we have adjacent over hypotenuse. And in our triangle, that value is A over C. Here in tangent, we have the last two remaining sides and their relation to each other. So that's opposite over adjacent. And in our triangle, again, that is B over A. So now we have a ratio between any two of the three sides that you can possibly imagine in this triangle, B over C, A over C, and B over A. Now remember that even if my triangle were this small, or even if it were this big, as long as it's a 90 degree triangle, or a right triangle, and has the same angle theta that we're using, the ratios between this side and this side will always be the same as well as this side and that side and this side and that side. So the the sine, cosine, and tangent values are set. They're, um, they've been figured out and jotted down, and they're just ratios of uh, similar triangles, and they will never change um, as long as your triangle uh, has the same angle values.